In the previous lesson, we looked at the power of the batch. You could have 200 images. You could, I don't know, have 2,000 images. Put them in there. Go get yourself a cup of coffee. Come back when they're done. Imagine even having an action, but applying it to each image one at a time. You would save time, but you still might be there for hours. So I like batching. But there is still one thing about a batch that I wish was different. And that is every time we go up to the word file, and go down to the word automate and select batch, we have to fill out the form. I would like to be able to do a batch without filling out the form, or at least doing it just once, because I want to use this particular option over and over again, and I don't want to keep filling this thing out. So let me show you something. Get out of here. Open up Photoshop. You don't need an image open. Go up to the word file, down to automate and select, I love this, create droplets. Now we can save it. We'll get to that in a second. What do I want to do? Well, I want to do my Egypt. I want to do color correction fresco. I want to override my open. No. I want to include all subfolders. Up to you. Suppress. I usually do those. Where's my destination? It's in a folder. Now see, this is why on my desktop, I have a folder that I always use for my actions. And I'm going to go action holding. Nothing in it. I took the files from the previous lesson out. Click choose. We don't need to override save as on command. Do you want to change the names? Compatibility. Do you want to stop for errors? No. Log errors to file. Save the file as errors. Now we already have one, so I'm going to say errors two on this. Usually you delete that file after you use it. It's all done. Now click up here save. Now I'm going to put mine on the desktop. And I'm going to call it color correction fresco. Click save. Click OK. Nothing happened. But check this out. Let me minimize Photoshop for a minute. I now have this. Now what is this? That's the droplet that I saved. Color correction fresco. So in a batch, we have to fill out that form. I've already filled out the form. It knows that if I activate that, it's supposed to apply that filter and then put them down here. How do I get things into it? Just drag them on top. So this folder has these four images in it. Come over here and drag it on top. You don't even originally have to have Photoshop open. It'll open it for you. And here we go again. Ain't it cool? Let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's take a peek in here. And there they are. And there's the errors text. If we open it up, we didn't open up this one over here. But if we open it up, there's nothing there. If you open it up and there were errors, it will tell you which ones had the errors. So what did we do? We created an action. We applied it in Photoshop, which is fine. We looked at batching, even modifying the actions, which is even cooler. But to me, the ultimate is using droplets. Because all you have to do is put the images in the folder. You've already filled out the form and you just drag it on top. Droplets are the way to go in batch processing.